My daughter decided to ambush me while I was uh, going to the toilet and started a philosophical discussion about boats in her belly. It was very deep and meaningful. Much was found out about the universe. Ooh, but show us back in wrestling. Noise. Ooh, excuse me. I am very gassy. I'm a bit bunged up. I don't know why. So why do I have no sound from the game? What is broken? Something's broken. I know what it probably is. Is it because I plugged a PlayStation controller in and for some reason my system seems to think that it needs to switch to it? No? Why we have no sound from Harvest Fella? <laughs> no, I know why we have no sound from Harvest Fella. I'm being a stupid idiot. <laughs> Man, when grinding turned the sound off because he was uh, watching videos and that. Duh. Welcome to a miserable rainy day. Uh, also, we have uh, Shrek Sets Quest. And I have chickens to buy. Apparently, some JP to spend. I have almost maxed out the assassin. I don't know if I should be depressed about that. So yeah, we have three more slots here. And can take up to 120 feet. I like that. I do not like the fact that they're kind of cloistered in. Oh. Looks like some crops are ready for harvest. At least I don't have to worry about certain things. That's the big, massive ass extra slot we got for the farm. I cleared it up because there was actually some rocks on it, so I cleared it up. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. And we're gonna go off and collect our materials. <laughs> also, in winter, I believe we're very limited on what we can grow. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I have a feeling it'll be just be uh, crops that basically get turned into uh, animal feed for the winter. So, I know we can't use the other two biomes. They get locked out. Alright. Right, store away anything I want to keep. Uh, how are we doing on eggs? Starting to get a nice stock of eggs and milk, so soon we'll be able to sell them, providing we don't actually use them for anything. Same with chestnuts, actually. Though chestnuts I might want to store a lot of in case I end up using them eventually, because obviously I can only get them in certain seasons. Due to trees only producing during certain seasons. I like how I go up to. Oh, I like how I got to six, and we can now hold 120 food. That is so much better. That'll be easy to fill up and forget about. But forget about it might be a bad thing. Forgive me, I have the man flu, so I'm very really bit sniffly. I say man flu because for some reason I'm getting blocked noses every now and then, and drippy noses. I'm guessing from the kids. Coconuts. Sorry, look, coconuts. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, also, uh, one thing I managed to do. 
I found a great salamander while fishing in uh, Left Village. Very happy about that. That's one of the legendary fish, and that did give me a bit of money. Oh, the copper and silver, which I feel like we're going to overstock on soon. So I'll be able to uh, uh, sell it off, I expect. Oh, that's everything going for now. Definitely the copper all soon. Pretty sure once I get to 100 of it, that'll be enough I need for a long while. Uh, I can get rid of lumber. Do, do, check the book. Then we'll head off to go do Shriek's friendship quest. Oh, next one of those. See, the next thing I get of this is a fairy fire, a fire fairy stone. So I wonder what that does. I feel like is that max level? No, it can't be because there'll be a few after this, unless you don't need all of them to get to max. So I need what four? One more potato. Grass, carrots, onions, rainbow beans, pumpkins. None of which I grew this season. See you later. Well, off we go. I hope you bring back souvenirs. I know I have a ship, but for some reason traveling by the uh, bunny just seems more efficient. Do, do, do. <sighs> Usual place at the giant ass church. But for some reason, I never teleport to when I can. Hello, you found out your entire religion is a sham. How do you feel? Alan, thank you for coming. Well, <clears throat> not really a sham. More just made to give people hope and to try and help people. I've been giving some serious consideration about the Holy Mother's true form and what Sight said. I'm doing okay. I know how I wish to answer his invitation. Are you sure you're right? Sites is waiting for us in the other room. Are you ready? You came. You look like you have an answer for me. I do. Sites, I cannot go with you. Wait a minute, let me just sort my chair out. Not actually sitting up straight. Bed for my pick. There we go. Yeah. Why is Shrika? Right. I wonder, is it Sharika or Sharika? Rika. Is that Sharika? Probably absolutely but I butcher all names because I'm so terrible at pronunciation. You know your police were based on a lie. That's a stretch. As you said, the thing that unites us as people is merely a tool for something else. 
Nevertheless, was there nothing in the teachings that spoke to you at all? Sight. I was able to take notice of so many things thanks to those principles. After such a difficult upbringing, they were able to teach me that the world really wasn't as ugly as I thought. They were created by people to teach us how to be people. I think that's what the principle means. Do not cause harm unnecessarily. Pretty good. Reach out to those in need. Again. Love your family and treat your friends well. Again. Pretty good. I don't think there were any mistakes in the way they taught us how to be good human beings. Those are definitely all important. But what did they give you? You mentioned being a good human being. Give me a break. They just teach you how to throw away your humanity. Sights. I've been watching you all this time. I watch you get swept up by the order as its blessed seraph child. They just want to cling to give you an idea of a tangible salvation. First the patriarch disappeared, then the force indulged Tina. And now they cling to the idea of you as a matriarch. Sights. I want to save you. Nobody else, nobody else knows how the world really is. You fought so hard to get where you are. You crawled out of that rundown heart and kept pushing no matter what awful things you saw. You should be rewarded. You deserve to be rewarded. Shrieker, I need you to live a quiet and peaceful life filled with joy. If you don't, then I... I'll never forgive myself. Sights. Thank you for watching over me. But Sights, I've been able to do so many important things. And I hold my blade in order to protect them. Shrieker. Fine, I see how it is. The only way to serve, serve you is to weigh you down. Make a formal announcement about the fallacy of the Holy Mother and destroy the order. If you refuse, then you'll have to stop me from doing it myself. Sights. We've been forced to witness the hell humanity creates so many times. We humans are weak creatures. I always hate it when people say that. Left to our own devices, we would spur the unthinkable. That is what we are. Despite knowing how much harming others hurts the soul, we still go on to commit so much evil. We all have our weaknesses. But that's why... That's why her principles are so important. To stop us from committing evil. To discipline ourselves. And so... Sight says, Missionary of the Seaside Order, I will stop you. Fine. Wait, Alan? This fight is mine to have. Thank you. Alan Shrike, I will defeat you if it will save you. <laughs> Sorry, we spent the entire budget on the artwork. We couldn't animate the fight. Enough is enough. So it's come to this. I was the one who taught you how to fight. If I didn't have dogma, this would have ended up differently. You're wrong. Excuse me? I didn't lose to your blade. I lost to everything you learned. Consider me beat, Shrike. Fights. Tell me one thing. How are you still so strong despite knowing your belief system is fiction? Again, belief system, not fiction. Whether it's fiction or not doesn't really matter, does it? Faith isn't as irresponsible as trusting your values to somebody else. My faith is, it's something that nurtures inside my heart. It belongs to me. Does that answer your question? I think it does. Da -da -da. I guess I still haven't been able to crawl out of that rundown old heart. Kill me, Shrike. You can't forsake your role as missionary and leave a sinner like me alive. <laughs> Sentence him to serve in my party, damn it. I mean, come on, a Templar class? Using a generic longsword? That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. 
I mean, I think I am a kit if I die by your hand. Meanwhile, the machine that's entire idea is it wants to save people by teaching them religion is just kind of sitting there saying nothing. You'd have thought it'd pipe up about this. What do you talk about? I'm not going to kill you. What? You have definitely sinned, but we humans have it in our hearts to repent for our sins and strive to be better. So be better. Right, surely you have a heart too. <laughs> what about the Holy Mother? I think I know what I'd like to do with the Holy Mother. Holy Mother, may I have a moment? What can I do for you? I would like to speak with you next time I visit. Would you wait for me? Understood, missionary Vidamond? How do you pronounce that? <laughs> the future of the faith. Oh, more magic attack at least. Well, time for some main story. <laughs> Welcome, honey. I hope the new internet actually works well in terms of having a better Wi Fi signal. Since it is actually a new Wi Fi box. <laughs> right. I think I was just going forward. I'm sorry, honey. I had everything open because it's so warm earlier. Uh, is there anything I could do to warm you up? Yeah. Come at me, motherfuckers! Fix my blade! Do, 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 do. I will go give a hug. Yeah, I know, JD isn't thing. I suppose I could do some more milk. I I, I, I shall go upstairs and give hugs. You let them know that I'll be longer because I'm doing you a cup of tea. Uh, I think Jay just does something. So I'm going to just keep an ear off in case I get summoned. I guess she fell over or something. Guess bad smith's dim. And then... She wants more milk! Sorry, come on, BRB again. You know, proceed for the murder. Okay, so, bomb door level two, objective forward, door leading seemingly nowhere. Chest. Better try pyro liquid. Oh, I will have to look at kitten. Is jealousy got a kitten, to be honest? Kittens are cute. Nice about war. I had a boss fight. Oh, a major plot point. Long corridor, event marker at the end, big giant open room. I appreciate it. Oh, let's do it then. 
have the coffee ready. I feel so unusual up ahead. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Geist. Well, if it isn't Dynaphius. What's this about? I don't believe you have any reason to be here. We won't let you destroy the sea's light. Do you understand what those colossal crystals are? Just like you said, right, by destroying the sea's light, you'll wipe out all life on this planet. We won't let you do it. Please, don't hurt my friends anymore. Hmm. You are not worthy of your lives. Not that it matters, you're already too late. What? Uh oh. Regaia Apostis Code engaged. It's predicted that destruction of the sea site will cause a calamitous natural disaster. Immediate evacuation of all Ceph to Orbital Cradle is advised. I repeat. What have you done? Do you truly wish to force the cellular death of this star? Giant shiny rock as far as I am concerned, but they are mine. You did well. The strict security made getting here a lot more work than expected. You really meant what you said about destroying the seas light. Is it even possible? You doubt me? Surely this castle helped you realize the truth you knew was a lie. It may have, but still. Guys, expect again. Override this code immediately. You think I'd listen to your griping now? Don't bore me, Dynephius. I have no time to deal with you or your friends. I must go. Welcome to the true world with my own eyes. And there must be someone here that will stop the Apophius order. It's impossible. Guy says Dr. Forty to himself. We can't stop this world from dying unless we destroy him first. Now let's catch up to him. Well, you followed me all the way here, worry not. The view from here of this false world to the Mars will be exquisite. Then we can observe the birth of the true world. Guys, what is this true world you speak of? What will it solve? What, that information isn't still in your collective consciousness? Why not try thinking for yourself, then, Nephius? Not that I believe you would understand my true intentions regardless. I've had some hope for that scientist scale, but perhaps I misaligned my expectations. Why are you so surprised? Still, it must be said, you came this far without being swallowed up by the false world. I recognize your determination. But if you intend to get in the way of my plan, then I'll put an end to your struggles here. The sea's lights are about to shatter. Behold the true star. The sea's light. It's just like what happened before. No, this is only the beginning. You said far worse is going to happen? No point question now. Let's just fling this asshole off our planet and put a stop to it. I couldn't have said it better myself. We have to stop Geist. Alan. It's time to end this. Your life will end here. By my hands. Now you see, this time you don't have plot armor, you bullshit there. asshole. Whoa. How's this? And I'm exceedingly over leveled. Ow. Fire. Dodge this! 
I don't plan on dodging, I plan on tanking with the power of coffee. I have coffee on my side. It's still because I abuse elementals, fair enough. Ah, so it wasn't all the threats. Technically, I've never ground. Because I didn't do much combat. The only combat I did when I was grinding was stuff that I killed in the underwater area when I was getting clay buildings. Ah, so it wasn't all hollow threats. <laughs> you have made me feel so confident my plan will succeed. What's that supposed to mean? Alan, why did you come all this way? You're a shut-in, trying to make ends meet. You could have chosen a peaceful life. Even out your simple days until your senses eventually fail you, and you slowly tumble towards death. Humans are creatures of habit, after all. And yet here you are, you came this far, all this will solve the issue with the sea slight and the quietest. Why do you fight so hard? People I like. Nevertheless, it's not a short road to get to this point. You have been shaken free of the fragile illusion of peace of the sea's light and have given you till now. Unless the planet is filled with humans like you, there will be no saving it. Geist, enough. Add an Ephesus, the reason I wanted to destroy the sea sites was all for them. To give the humans of this star a proper death and progress this stagnating civilization. What civilization would be left to progress was to destroy all life on the planet? With the seaside and the seaside destroyed, life on this planet, on this star would end. That is true, but not all life. The superior would survive and overcome adversity, creating a new civilization. The superior race of humanity would achieve the progress it deserves. Without calling forth true destruction, it and your proper death, there be no future. There is no limit to your cruelty, guys. Punching this stun such danger will resolve nothing. Quiet, Denephius. Was it not us who la uh, led this star down this road to oblivion? By shattering the monolite and all its trivial conveniences, we stole the humans a bit to reason. As well as a means of resolving the dead end road we put them on. And for this fight, I will fight to save my world and atone for our sins. Atone? If you have good reason to stop me, then I will fight you to the end. But forcing this star into crisis is the only option we have left. I will make this star shine brightest among them all. And for the sake of the future, I will destroy you. You want a reason? A reason to fight? We fight because, because... Uh, because we can't let a single person die. Why can't you understand? Is this the consequence of stealing your ability to reason? You must understand, surely, girl who calls herself a scientist. You underestimate me. No matter how much danger this star is in, or what disappearing circumstances, we cannot sacrifice the lives of so many. If you truly believe that it is a noble or proper death in science, no. The human heart has failed. This is what meant to be a scientist, to keep fighting for the bitter future. I right, Ultron, genocide bad. Exactly. Geist, your path and ours do not meet. Very well. What's happening? Here, track of fly. I'm just gonna jump off. Seize light, the great effigy of death. Lend me your strength. The sea's light. I will give humanity with a death of my own design. If you refuse, then prove to me your determination alone is enough to end my plan. Humanity, 
All you have to do is accept the death I have designed for you. Ow! Please hit. Okay. You want to try a break? I need to be slightly more Watch concerning with dodging. Show me the brains of your will. Let's double down on them. Shoot. Not fire skill off. You're only making it harder to resolve the crisis that this planet faces. Hold still so I can stab you harder. Yes, submit. Submit to this. Succumb to my plan. There is no way other than proper death. I will make the star shot brightest of them all. Seize light! Lend me your power! Oh dear, oh dear. Party members, this would be entirely useful for you to, um, I don't know, split up and start killing these things. Holy fucking Jesus, ow. Okay, you got a firing your laser and I'll give you that geist. I also have poison. I also know how to break you. It's really well made coffee. Very well made coffee. Oh, seize light! Lend me your power! Target is gathering energy. We must act accordingly. Now, for what I could tell, nope. Standing under him does not do that. Coffee! I will teach you to spend the whole budget of this game on your fancy attack moves. You want to try a break? Dodge this. Fall. Power will shine. It is the only way. <clears throat> no, this can't be. Guys, it's over. Your shell is no longer capable of controlling the Genesis core. Nervous, can you hear me? Situation has been resolved. Override the star's apotheosis protocol. Dot, 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 dot. Something's going to go wrong, isn't it? Are the sea sites calming down? If so, that was way too easy. Looks like it. Is it over? I don't feel like this is over. This is too short. I think so. This is humanity's answer? Alan? I never believed I'd witness anyone capable of destroying what I had planned. Such ability must still hide within the humans on this star. With such willpower, perhaps this star can avoid its fate. Perhaps you've come to the same conclusion, but now you must fight on your own. I will give you this. Geist's memory chip. So the coordinates hidden in this chip, that girl will know how to use it. Where do these coordinates lead? To Lost Gaia, the beginning of everything. To Lost Gaia? Correct. You want to know the source of the quietus? It lies there. What does that mean? 
and then see for yourself and keep pushing on. You fought and denied my efforts in order to save this world? Now show me you can. My meme has infected you. So now this is a bit confusing because from what we know about omens is we've had omens that literally have popped out of their armor like redhead here and then there's ones that just seem to when they die there's nothing in their armor so it's like what up to four complete so christ of it's okay to think that right and see why not although i feel like there's a new problem on our plate and now please excuse me i'd like to go check if all is okay at the capital Yeah, I know it runs on such as an omen, but that's the assumption I'm making at the moment. I also presuming we're an omen, or at least not base human. For now, please excuse me. I'd like to go check all this okay at the capital. <laughs> yes, good point. I'm interested as I am in that chip. It can wait for another day. I'd like to make sure everyone should tell us okay too. In that case, let's all go our separate ways from here, and I'll take a deep look into the chip. Does that sound okay with you, Danephius? Well, that'll be a journey for us. Oh no, not side quests again. <laughs> of course, it's yours to analyze. Though that does mean making money, which means more animals, which means bigger farm. Ready to go on? Yeah, I don't want to be close with her. I mean, I want the stats, I just don't want to be close with her because I don't like her. Alan, Arya. Glad to see you both made it back safe and sound. What's all the fuss about? Plus, we saw the seaside's glowing like crazy again, and I bet you two had something to do with it, didn't you? Honestly, you're going to drive me into an early grave worrying about you. <laughs> Was left okay? Certainly caused a stir, but fortunately nothing major happened. That was quite the phenomenon, but I'm not going to ask the details. I know there's a lot we're better off not knowing. Nevertheless, I can feel it in my bones, you two. Went to great trouble saving us on something terrible. On behalf of everyone in the village, allow me to express our deepest gratitude. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I'm beat. I could use a good night's sleep after all that. Sleep well. I'll take a look at the memory chip tomorrow, by the way. I have some idea of what I need to do with it. Farm work is pretty good uh. wing exercise. Size. All in all, that didn't seem to go too bad. Bye bye. Do do do. Right. Full of vim and vigor, I see. Oh, yeah, how can I only buy one a day? <coughs> I know I can make it, but just to stock up a little while I'm here. <laughs> do, do, do. And I suppose for the rest of the day, because stuff isn't going to trigger, I'll just fish it at the uh, farm. Oh, didn't think you were coming back. Since there's, there's literally nothing else we can do at the moment, really. 
So I might as well go fish for a little bit while it's pissing with rain. And tomorrow all the spy quests by the sounds of it are going to spawn. But I'd probably have to pass a few days for the next actual main story mission to happen. <laughs> I will say the fishing in this is incredibly easy. Just wait for the controller to vibrate if you're using the controller. Like literally, when when I was uh, fishing as a side activity, I barely looked at the screen to be honest. Just enjoy the piece for music. <sighs> so, I feel like I'm halfway through the game now after that. Just because of how that event felt. Oh! Oh! Some redfish. I'm gonna go check if that's one of the special fish because I've never caught that fish before. I don't know if it is, but that's that's different. Yep, it is. Big catch and pour bowl recipe and five thousand gil. Nice. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Now I, I figured you'd have no clue, DD. I'm just saying, like that to me, like that event just makes me think that's the end of the halfway mark ish. Unless any other plot lines are available. I mean, we are still missing two jobs. Yeah, relatively speaking, that was quite easy. Mostly because most of his moves were telegraphed. Let's be honest, it was like, I'm going to fire lasers here. I could probably have taken a lot less damage if it weren't for the fact I was just like, I'm going to just tank this and drink coffee. So I can hit him more. Spent half the fight waiting for him to come down off his high horse so I can hit him. Curvity crabs. I suppose the game's now got to chill out and probably relax and be a little more slower pace because they had to save on the budget. So they probably blew quite a bit on that. Ever sweet fish. So many ever sweet fish. Is that a legendary fish as well? I feel like that is. I feel like... That was the name of one of them. Yeah, it's just, it is. Fishing knowledge, level three. 
I can fish better now. And I got more money. I ain't gonna complain about that. Made 10k in less than a couple of hours because I find a legendary fish. Man happy. Which means at some point we'll have to go farm some more clay for the expansions to the farm more. <laughs> it's technically contributing more to my upgrades and progress than she does. Do, do, do. Come on. Huh, I caught a second one. But, okay, you know what? For some reason in my head, I would think you can only catch a legendary fish once. But of course, you could probably accidentally sell them, can't you? And therefore, probably can catch them multiple times for money. Or on purpose to sell them, yeah. Because I can't imagine these being used in any dishes, but I will check. Yeah, I'll check the recipes before I stick that one in the... In fact, you know what? F fuck the fish in for the rest of the day. Let's go check the recipes to see if that thing is used in any of them. I would presume if it is used in a recipe, it would be the recipe I got when I turned it in. So let's go check. Uh... Uh, as of this time, it does not look like it. No, it doesn't. Granted, I could still get recipes in the future that could include it. But for now, we'll sell it. See how much money we get for it. Uh, I need to put those two away for cooking. Night. Shit happens. So here you were, Dinephius. Were you able to get the information on the girl that guys captured? Yes, I synchronized with the Gustav Sphere. He did not recognize her as a girl of reason. Then that leaves the question what is to be found at Lost Guy's coordinates that guy left behind? If it leads the girl to the truth, then we might be able to proceed with the future we envisioned. Agreed. We found more, although it's still under investigation. Geist's uh, Virgilis sector showed traces of independent research that he had engaged in. Perhaps opening in that door will provide us some more information. Geist was doing research in secret? Apparently so. I'll continue running cryptanalysis on the door's lock and let you know once I find anything. Very good. P.S. Hey, when I figure out how to hack the bitch's password. One, 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 uh, one. Holy crap, 990 for that fish. Nice. One, 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 two. No, it wasn't that.
One, three, nope. <laughs> Five days until quietus. So, there's, I'm going to step out of here. Oh, no. Letter. Area left the letter. Come to the Northern Plains once you're done with the farm work, Alan. Northern Plains? Northern Plains? I'm being dumb here. One final task. Thank you again for your assistance with sites. I know I would not have been able to provide an answer to for him if I went to face him alone. I am thankful to have had you there as my friend. The matter has not been brought to a close yet. However, there's still mother who will need to, uh, who we need to face. I will await you at the temple. Castle Lewis propaganda. We are pleased to announce that the Kingdom Brigade has defeated the Omens of Battle during the final battle of Illumination and the Seasite was confirmed in each area of the Kingdom. This is a testament to the great protection the Seasite granted us in the final battle. Please rest assured that we will remain undefeated for as long as the Seasites continue to shine in our favour. Castle Lewis Intelligence Division. I request assistance of my retainer. Have you been well? It is your master, Unicorn. Uh, this sudden letter may come to you as a surprise, but there is a good reason behind it. You see, I have some business at Castle Lewis, or rather the Castle of Illusion. I request the assistance of my loyal retainer. I trust you will oblige, seeing it is your duty as a retainer to obey their lord. I await you in front of the castle. Raise friendship with Unicorn. Apologies for the sudden correspondence. I have something I wish to discuss with you. It is a problem that I cannot solve on my own. And so I require the assistance of an able such as yourself. I will be waiting aboard the airship. Please come to see me if you can make it. If you can make the time. I'm guessing... Bonding with Bestie! Ow. I guess I just pop onto the ship. And I can actually bond with Unicorn. Interesting. Right. Actually, I think it's E. Is it E N? -E? I always spell her name wrong when I try to spell it in my own head because I suck at spelling. E N E E N E L Y. No, I just spell it right. Saying, I'm crazy. New chicken. Productions of eggs will increase. Cost of keeping animals will also increase. into food still feel like this should be something like I, I seriously feel like we need to build something back there Okay, did I get another thing I could stick in here? Wild leaf. There we go. Okay. Keep, sell. Hmm. 
coconut juice. Removes continuous physical damage. Nice. And a thousand HP. That's not bad for a drink. Drop off the woolen feed. What a side bone. So much hardstone. Hey, Octogesha, Geisha. How you doing, my dear? I require breakfast. Eat the mountain stir fry. Hydrate, stretch, posture check, everything. Not doing too bad. Ooh. Just uh, overheating a bit today because British hot weather decided to come back. Well, at least there was a cool breeze. Uh, hilltop, and that's the last bit I need to grab. Hope the rest of your stream went well. Seems like it was. And your microphone sounded a lot better today as well. Plus all new shiny stuff. Alright. Glad to hear it. The streams always do put a smile on my face. Especially when people start spamming the redeems. It's cute watching you get flustered as you try to figure out how to talk when people are just like, No, I'm interrupting you now. Right. Uh, no, not dig. Oh. It's a bridge. I have been booped. Right, Geist, where are you? A Geist. An Ephesus, I should say. Not on bridge. Bridges in. Am I blind? He said meet on the airship, right? You may be shy, but you're cute and adorable. Oh, there we go. Alan, you came. <laughs> she has died from being complimented. Commence tentacle resuscitation. <laughs> Apologies for calling you so suddenly. As I wrote my letter, I wanted to speak with you. <laughs> and so the Octogatia has felt the love of millions of tentacles, well, hundreds of tentacles. <laughs> Uh, it must be serious if you're worrying. You needn't steal yourself so... Uh, nonetheless, this is important. It may be the case that I cannot find a situation without your si uh, solution without your assistance. Alan, teach me about the heart Abel's possess. It pumps blood. Unlike your atomical hearts, there's a great deal we do not understand about the other intangible forces. Since that's such an unnecessary component, and yet much of you 
Much of your performance is drawn from it. Apparently, I'm losing the ability to speak. Subsequently, my logic circuitry is demanding I make sense of it. What is the heart and how does it work? I want to know. I thought you of all ables must have the answer. So tell me, what is the heart? <laughs> the urge to say that line is very high. But I think that's a more appropriate line. I don't think anyone really knows what the heart is when it comes to the metaphysical sense of it. So even you can't shed any light on the matter. No be rude to bestie. Very well. We have failed to ascertain from where exactly the Abel's heart is born. I could say it's like a consciousness tendency or pattern that emanates from your entire body, correct? But it's no different from knowing nothing at all. We can look for the answers together. You would help me? I'm on the case. Alan. Since we don't possess a heart, none have considered embarking on an earnest research into what it may be. However, with your assistance, there might come a time when we finally find an answer. <laughs> So it hasn't been a year in game yet, and I have amnesia. The only thing I really remember is Assassin has sexy booty and I want it. So I appreciate your cooperation. And also the Doctor. I wouldn't mind a slice of the Doctor either. But we are still at an impasse. I don't know how to perform the appropriate research. Studies into your fleshy bodies have yielded no results thus far. Have you tried asking people? Of course, asking those with hearts might be the most efficient method. But there's one problem. Revealing myself to any human may well for any chance of receiving a first-hand accounts. Even though you're cuter than most. Cute? What do you mean by that? Nevertheless, I need to find a method of collecting data on human emotions without showing myself. There's no way you could look. Uh, I still believe there is something inside that body besides circuitry. Yes. I suppose I could check out the database. But it's not a cornucopia of knowledge. But until, like, I see definitive proof, then yeah. It is no more than a record. The results concerning the heart's creation exists. But there is nothing about how it works. In order to research that, it would require a pulled sample of human emotions, but that... No, wait. Now that I think on it, there is an account of an old reigning AI. Do you remember something? Please wait. If my hypothesis is correct, then I need to verify it first. Which means I can ask for some time. I will send a letter if a conclusion is reached. Wait until then. Oh, we get magic attack and magic. That will come in handy because I do natural magical ones and philosopher stones. Goodbye, Alan. I thought our mage class came from the unicorn. Ah, oh, fair enough. Wrong button.
Land ship. Go to village. Uh, right. That way for plot. No side quests uh, spied in here. While we're here, we might as well go do the plot. But also, we need to buy ourselves one Octo Geisha. Hmm. That would be all my money. That would be all my money. But... Lost the movement. Ah, so you found my letter. Why is everyone here? Did you forget we're here to see what's in the memory chip Geist left behind? The fairy asked me and Elmo to come here not long ago. Same. Uh, my poor wings are so tired, Ira treats us fairies with such cruelty. Yes, yes, you'll get your pokey apple when you're done. I bet that you promise, remember? I'll see you later, Anne. I still got work to do at the farm. I hate my life. I'm tired. <laughs> but oh, they wouldn't even know what a memory chip is, so. Good question. I have a general idea of how this thing works, but I'm not an expert. The nephews might know more. Would you mind sharing your knowledge? Apologies. Even now, we're restricted by severe information control. Castle Illusion is in a state of upheaval following guys' attack. I was barely given permission to join you. You mean to monitor us? Just say it how it really is. That is not the truth of it. The information within Geist's memory chip is of great value to us as well. However, we decided there was more value in guaranteeing your safety on whatever path you take. Another path from your mysterious Prime Directive? Not that we have any idea what that actually entails, though I suppose you still can't divulge any details either. I'm afraid not. Doesn't matter, we could use their help in a pinch. We're going to find out for ourselves anyway once we learn how to use this memory chip. So, how do we use it? I remember seeing a terminal on this crystal liquid thing that we'll probably insert it into. Ah, oh, yes, her ship. This is very true. Oh, here it is. Look. If I just do this. Something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? Nope, door not Open sesame. Okay, let's see what's inside. Exactly, DD. And oh god, Sammy, you're having sympathy for your sim. That's not good. This is where we found you, right? This crystal you arrived in, area? Then that would mean this is a... I found the power. Chip. <laughs> ah, I'm being yelled at. Hey, honey. It's not like the humans realize they shouldn't do in the murder drones. Yes. I've never seen anything like this. It doesn't even look real. It's like a ship. Isn't it obvious? And if I arrived in this thing, that would make it a time machine. A time machine? I doubt that. A ship that can cross time itself, so it really does exist. I still don't believe the time story of her. How marvellous. Made in Iris time? Couldn't have been, even. I've never really seen a time machine. It's not to say we never theorised it, but it wasn't something we were able to realise. That's why I always assume my arrival was a result of a time disaster or something along those lines. Alright, I find a hole here that looks like the one before. That's fine, let's see what happens if we use the memory chip again.
Tutorial shift program activated. Coordinates confirmed. Location not found in database. Environment unknown. Unable to confirm survivability. Please read life support policy acknowledgement. Acknowledged. Terms and conditions signed. Are you sure we don't want to give that a far read through? Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey, let's download the problem that blew up our planet multiple times. The words of a species that deserves death. As I recall, the limitations of the current fear of time travel is that it would only work to go far as back as the time machine was turned on, and that would reset if the power feed was ever wavered. Now that would make sense! I could understand making a time tunnel between two points where you start the tunnel and then, you know, as days go on, you're technically digging a tunnel through time. To be able to go back, as long as enough, as long as that tunnel continued to exist, as long as power's being fed, that would actually make sense to me in my head. We don't have the time. A large worker fan, please use the console once preparations are complete. Wait, what was that part about survivability? No, I feel this is really okay. You can't tell us that much, right? Even I have no knowledge of what awaits us on the other side. I can provide no solace. We'll be fine, there's always a degree of risk when it comes to science. Discord. Someone stop our pushing buttons. We have side quests too. I don't want to get locked out of an area. That would be bad. Alright. Uh, eh. Open PDF. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, I suppose, providing that we have no problem, we can take her to it. We'll have to look about getting her like a little army uniform or something. We'll be fine. There's always a degree of risk when it comes to science. School sent us a leaf that there's going to be a uh, like little D-Day celebration, family celebration. Uh, basically, where the main shops are where I live. There's like fancy dress for like the kids and everything. There's going to be fun fair rides, bumper cars for the kids, live 1940 singers, DJ on deck, balloon artists, climbing wall, face painting and raffle. Nice little fun fair for the kids, really. Okay, and push the switch whenever you're ready. Why me? Pardon? You're a fearless leader. Everyone's just following your lead. <laughs> Don't be any objections. Where do you think you're going? Ah! Fine. Push it. Departure confirmed. Territorial shift sequence engaged. Machine turbos expected passengers to take caution. Okay, literal straight up teleportation. Abandoned paradise. Career user, career user. I'm going to have to fix you up proper, huh? I'm not sure if a manual would be of any use on your kind. So I bought this super old one just in case.
Hmm. Does talking to you even help if you're unconscious? Oh dear, how do you rebeat a human that might be unconscious? Hey, that's Seth. The Nephias is calling for you. She says she has a question about the Sky Whale. Again? Uh, can you just relax a sec? I hate how they're being so pushy. I'm not even any good at handling Sky Whales anyway. This mouth is majorly creepy. Look, I'm just passing on the message. Okay, there appears to be two races of Omen. Alright. Your pal's calling for me. I'll be right back, okay? Don't go anywhere. Seriously, they appear out of nowhere and start bossing us around like they already own the place. That Geist was also... Oh shit, they know Geist. Huh? It's nice to meet you. Or should I say welcome back? Sorry for taking so long to get here. You arrived much sooner than I expected. But it's fine. It's time to wake up, Alan. I'd like you to go back to where you belong. Huh? What? Okay, where the fuck am I? This place is too clean and white for my liking. <laughs> well, sis, you're awake. It's good to see you up and about. I thought I'd never see a human being here. Life here may be slow, but it stretches on for quite some time. Where am I? You're in an abandoned Eden. The failed paradise, or rather, the deserted paradise. By the by, you should be sl should you be slacking off your friends who are already working hard to open the partition? Why don't you go and look for them? What the fuck are you on about? Huh, this appears to be some sort of town. And I see monolite. Interesting. Well, first of all, I need to be nosy. Ooh! Law, magic worst, open or closed door. Do not make the same choice. Two is odd, three is even. Begins from zero. Ah, brain just died a bit there. Okay, so I can't mess with most of this. Oh, Eden rice episode uh, recipe. Uh, that seeds. Ooh, recipes to buy from this place. Bomb level 2 recipe, repair kit level 2. Okay, we need to get these because uh, we have doors and places to blow up and things to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, I should move this. Is that right? I think so. Hmm, that's the trouble of how complex it this is. To give you traffic on your commute, I need to know your work address. Would you like to provide that now? Alexa, no! 
No one was talking to you. Sorry, I'm not sure. Hey, you over there. Stop staring and lend us a hand, won't you? No can do, sis. If you want to go outside, then it's up to you to figure out how. You'll be grateful that I'm even giving you instructions. Bye, Nemo. Would you mind? I'm terrible oh, at these things. Nothing to see here. Just ah! tentacle hugging, Mr. Host, sir. I'm being raided! Oh, my. Nothing to see here. Just friendly, tentacle hugging, Mr. Host, sir. Hey everyone, how's it going? Thank you very much for the raid, Dark Bark and Roman Goblin. <laughs> Let me give you some shout outs. I'm being dual raided. <laughs> How are you two? How was your stream? Did you have lots of fun? All of the emotes. Bob a duck, great. Uh, what are you guys doing? Ah! Fence Force 5. Fair enough. Bot, bot, Wi Fi bad. Kill him for me, please. Yeah, so, so, so I got an internet upgrade. <laughs> so I'm happy about mine. I've got geek internet now. Uh, I'll lend him some. Make his internet better. Ah. Do, do, do. But uh, I hope you at least had fun, even if he had uh, a few little problems. Do you want me to put the heating on, honey? Bye, Nemo. Would you mind? I'm terrible at these kind of things. I've not actually played any of the EDF games, mostly because I don't see a point buying them unless I find someone to play them with. Because uh, that, that, that's what they meant for, play with people. I want to feel better. I know, baby. I wish I could make you feel better. I don't know why you've been so ill lately. Oh, sure. How curious. Alan. You came just at the right time. What are you up to? It looks like we have some awkward hoops to jump through if we want to leave this abandoned Eden. Would you mind taking so to Denephius for me? Here you are. Thank you all. But yeah, thank you everyone from Goblins and Duckbox Stream. Uh, this is Harvest Fella, basically farming RPG game. I hope you all get nice and cozy. We now yeet Dark Bark and Roman going off to go get food, look after themselves, hydrate, go to toilet, whatever they need, because I know they're both notoriously bad for not looking after themselves. You see, strange part. I like you to ask our nephews and the others what it is, but a bit too busy to do it ourselves, you see. Enjoy your food, Goblin. Oh. Ah. Goblin bought me. I require a wingy! Nemo, what happened? I feel like there's an invisible stingy jellyfish, maybe. Meep! She crossed the wires. Youch! Shriek, the heck is this thing? Some kind of monster I can't see? What's with you two being so melodramatic? Uh, maybe just do some colouring while watching some Grey's Anatomy or something, honey? So I'm, gu I'm guessing because you don't feel very well, it's hard for you to focus on gaming. Why would there be a monster here? That Ow! Da, da, da. Very well. Uh oh. That's the way you want to do things. Freak. You can't. Ducks in here for good, remember? Then I'll bring the whole damn wall down. 
Calm down. Calm down. Tempa. Tempa. Shrek, don't do this. She has a temper. Well, that's part of my party. So they're trying to get through a door down there that is places, and they're trying to get through a door up there that is places. Hello? You don't want to do that. Uh, you could try play some trucks if you still want to play games. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. You could cut the tension with a knife. Is there any reason you two won't lend me a hand? I'm busy counting the marks on the wall. You're doing the wall? I was checking the ceiling. What are you two talking about? Sometimes the Mercedes have to take it slow and wait for the opportunity to strike. Then pretty quick that you need to achieve a zen-like state if you want to pass the time quickly. Or to put it in more appropriate terms, you're killing time, is that right? A lot. A lot. Come on now, enough games. You know as well as I do, there isn't a single speck of dirt on that wall. You're right, this will suck. Agreed. Shh, I should have kicked up more of a fuss when we were deciding teams. That's on you, a Mercedes brain. Like mine is best use of fighting, not annoying thickly, honestly. What a sad thing to say. Ruminate on that just a moment. No, thank you. What's this? You're awake, huh? Thank goodness I fear my heart might stop for us such an exciting conversation. Is everything okay? Doesn't matter now. Could you lend me a hand? There's something I want you to take to the Nephius. It's rather delicate. Definitely not something I can trust either of these two to handle. You'll see a strange part. Thank you in advance. Hi, Steen. Hmm? What about that? It could be worth can. Don't think it's too hot. It'll be too hard. Bizarre, I feel like someone's eyes are boring into the back of my head. <laughs> Weirdos. I wonder what this is. This is a treasure chest here. Note to self, spheres are treasure chests here. Look out for weird sphere pods. So is this in itself a dungeon? Hmm, interesting. Be wary of the thought maze. Be wary of the thought maze. Don't you want to go to sleep soon? No, we have no idea what time it is because we probably don't have a clock. Boredom's going to get the better of me. The inability to save is going to take care of me. There's another monolite in here. Oh, it's our ship. Nope, still lots out of saving. Big ass open room. The Great Partition. <sighs> Alright, Arya, would you mind handling the equipment over there? Sure, no problem. <sighs> so, Nephis, how much do you know about who I am? Why'd you ask? Well, then perhaps you would make you the Harbinger. Guys, he had a lot to say. He was one of you at some point, right? So I thought, if you want to know what exactly it is you are, then you're likely to find your answer up ahead. It's something you need to witness for yourself, that is all I can say on the matter. But... Oh, Alan, we're asleep for a while. We're almost finished. 
What happened while I was out? We we're trying to get out of this Van Neden. We had to split up and work on getting the partition open. It also sounds like Geist was here at some point too and was able to get out the same way. But I don't think following his lead is the best way to go about this. Still, we had to stop whatever he had planned before we really got to know his true intentions. That's why it's our responsibility to understand him. Agreed. What are you holding, Alan? You hand over the strange parts. You asked to bring these, then if I install them here, maybe. Push the on button. Then that should do it. Let's call everyone back here. You really wish to leave? But give me a break, we already told you guys why. I'm only making sure guys ventured out of this place the same way you're about to now and returned to Shadow's former self like he was a completely different being. Do you still wish to go? If that's where the truth lies? If that is your answer, then very well. Jabberwocky, go with them, please. You want to go outside, right? Now's your chance. <laughs> right. Nice to meet you. So look, I'll open the partition. Let's go! Watch your steps, stay safe! Okay, these white omens are a little too happy-go-lucky here. Uh, friendly! They look creepy. I believe we are in the, uh... Old world? Main world? I could not even read that word junction. This is what Gasult saw? It must be. So you really found the coordinates to Lost Gaia? This place. Do you recognize that, Arya? No, nothing. Da da da. Let's continue. There are more places you must be waiting for us. So, uh, so you waiting for us. Dot dot dot. She does recognize it. Abandoned paradise complete. That was a short chapter. Great tech conversations will not happen anymore. Oh dear, I seem to have locked myself out of content. Well, at least I can save again. And apparently we can return home. Okay, so we're not locked out of places. Um, oh, Let's explore at least while we're here. Okay, from what I can tell, there isn't actually an area this way. I think I have to go across and up. I see a robot that's going to attack us, I bet. Shall we begin? That was a walk in the park. Delicate clog, undercore. Plus also, if there's going to be materials anywhere, we might need them for the uh, stuff we need to do. That was a treasure chest over there. Ah! Off material that way. Hello! Friendly robots! You guys are a little lower level than I'd expect. End of battle. All clear. Material. Uh, like right, large iron ore. Okay, I'm gonna go just back here to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. 
Is that good sound? No. No. No chest or anything. Right, this way then. Oh. Cracks are formed in the crumbling road. But look closer, you see something shining from the inside of one of the cracks. If you reach in, you could probably grab it. Yes. You reach your hand, type space, pull so it free. It's an item. You receive it, empty battery. Path for feet rumbles. The crack that you treat your begin to widen. Do I could any minute? But the shaking subsides. Looks like the crisis has been averted. You gained battery. Empty battery. Can we use an estate? Now that. Interesting. Why are you purple? No significant reason? Also, why would there be a creature of similarity here? Hmm, interesting. I think this is where we saw the chest going down this way, and I am poisoned and I don't like it. I appreciate it. Ooh, a chest. Well then, fire. Shall we begin? <sighs> Die, I would like the shinies in the chest, please. That was a walk in the park. Shinies? Three small thunder calls. Alright, so... <laughs> Guess there's a shortcut up that way. Well then, shall we begin? Gather all that stuff. Let's go up this way. So I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a shortcut or something around here. You have my gratitude. That is definitely a gathering point. Oh. No, just chests. Okay. Let the battle commence. Full battery and pyro liquid. Also, uh, JP to spend. I'm guessing we're going to need that battery for something. As we can't charge the other ones. At least, as I know, we can't. We'd have to figure that out later. <laughs> oh, my light. Sweet. Cutscene. I'm trying to make sense of this place, but this scene just gets more and more bizarre the longer you look at it. It's hard to breathe. Where are we? Where is all this? The ruins stretch out forever. Is this some kind of abandoned ghost town? Almost. This is Pananthalysis Junction. It's a large route that humanity made before the end crossing the planet. The end? Yes, the end of the world. The Queen ordered it. There were humans here before, like you. They welcomed the end. Before us? Former humans tried to fix the world's inequality by creating a glass net all around the planet that could transfer information at speed of light. 
They used to think that the reason people couldn't get along was because of time differences and distance. But in the end, all that light rushing around the planet only revealed humans' lack of understanding of each other. The human mind is not a standardised part, so in the end, they never managed to understand each other. It's just like how two cogs with different teeth don't work together. But the humans couldn't accept they were all simply different, they tried to differ tactic. This time, they tried to unite the world by converting every land mass that they connected every land mass that they succeeded in this massive task. This junction is a long route that ties together all the former nations of the world. But even though they succeeded in connecting all the land, their wishes still didn't come true. No matter how they tried to pick up the pieces of the broken mirror, it would never affect the worlds brightly again. Now this uh, parphalysis is what's left of the empty prayers and their wishes to unite the oceans. Da da da. Interesting. I think there's even a fishing spot here. That was a walk in the park. And there's a treasure chest down there, so like even though there's fishing, I also want the treasure. Eden rice seeds. Lovely. Oh, we have bad guys here as well. The dangerous enemies. Okay, so... we we'll obviously have to go up and we're going to have to run for our lives by the looks of it. You have my gratitude. Ginger, empty batteries. I'm picking up poison. Of course, this game's gonna make me pick up poison. If anyone doesn't get that joke, I'm allergic to ginger. Big giant scary robot. Latently, garden something. Latently, we charge at his face if I get the opportunity. Let the battle commence. Stop trying to fill me with bullets or whatever comes out of those long barrels of yours. Uh, I will switch to a drink, though. Don't want to overfill my stomach. Bad Shepherd. Alright, we're at 5.40 p.m. So we are getting on with time. Back here? No. That was a walk in the park. So now I need to save up money to buy all the recipes, really. And then that'll give me new areas to explore, maybe even open some new quests. In fact, the new side quest might start opening up now just because I have access to this area. The road here is heavily damaged and little bit of debris. You might find something if you search through the rubble. Yes, I know it'll take time, but I don't care. You search through debris and a hard shell pops to appears. But it doesn't move, it seems it's already dead. You see something fall to the ground, the creature must have been holding on to it. You received a killer pick. Uh, I'm going to guess sell I am? So, the obvious direction is the other way. And there's a big mean monster this way. So therefore there is treasure chest. End of battle. All clear. You have my gratitude. Drink one of those. Have the bell ready. This one looks strong. Thank you for the recipe. Bye.
Do -do. At least there's a monolite here for me to activate. What's that? <laughs> oh, Ferris wheel by the looks of it. That's where we're going next. There's something you should see over there. Save, because I can. Right, I should have enough time to run back up there, dodge these enemies, and open that chest. Ninja art. Screw you guys, I want that chest! This is a dangerous enemy. A wise man, is that it? Oh. Return home. Store that away. Somewhere I'm full. I'm wait right now. I'll see the new materials. Yeah, I need to send that away. Anything new on here? Oh, yeah, you. Okay, ah, oh, so we need the metal plate for level three of those. Hmm. Yeah, we need a uh, special water course for those, don't we? We need water core requires that. Oh, water core! Hmm. All right, let's drop that off. And then, where is our pet? Because we have a carrot to feed it. Here you go. Yes, feed it. It can now swim in rivers and sea. Intriguing. It is now maximum. Okay, so that was the final level. That would then mean that I would have to try taking it different places I'm guessing oh, you know what this 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 can be uh, uh this could be goblin and the next one I get I'll put a start bark welcome back I mean that could mean I could have some new places to go explore But they also now do need to go, like, check everywhere for side quests and do things. And, oh, it's the evening. Shit going on. Hello? Hey, I'm sorry. I know you're sleeping, but... Why would you wake me up? I said I'm sorry. Look, it's, uh, I decided to leave this house. Alexa off. Where are you going? Never far, don't worry. You know that crystal in the northern village square? I'm moving in there. It's like a decent place to live. I've got some research done in there as well. It's not like we can keep living together forever. Uh, I mean, we hardly got off to the best start living together. Da -da -da. I might finally get out of the house myself. So I'm leaving tonight. Living view wasn't all that bad. See you around. Our own house. Our own house. Yay! <laughs> oh, level 51. The killer pit gave us like nothing. 
four days until the quietus. We have letters. Thank you for waiting. I have found a solution and wish to continue discussion we had before. When you have a moment to spare, please visit me on the airship. I will be waiting. Uh, it's pissing with rain, so I don't have to water or anything. Well, I have anything to water at the moment, but... I actually thought we'd get to winter, but I guess uh, cutscene after cutscene and boss fighting. Quietus is on its way. Do -do. I don't like it when my animals are inside because I get bugger off from them and I can't pet them. I feel so wrong. I went to pet my fluffers. Right, I need to smoke the eggs. Smoke the eggs. And so. Alright, go to the other two areas. Mostly more like fragments I care about getting at the moment because I know I need more of those to craft stuff quite often. I do love how peaceful this game is though. Alright, cave. I think if I'm going to buy any of the recipe cards first is this. Because it's a level 2 repair kit. And I wonder what's in there. I really do. Given the fact that it's actually somehow on our farm. <laughs> and I know all the dungeons have like either... I think a couple of them have repair kits. But I think most are also bombs. Some of the errors on that. To go to different places. Uh, right, old well. So I know I've got a few things I can look into. Do you want to work on the farm today? No, because Quietus is coming up, so I don't see a point in doing full-on work on my farm. Yeah, I feel like I can sell copper ore now. Rusty metal, so that I can keep them on the light. Right. First thing will be first is the ship, then. See you later. You can walk to any region of the sky from Arya's odd near Left Village. Okay, so I'm guessing the pod, aka ship thing, of hers. Is there any way to like... Oh yeah! Oh, okay, so let's use that to go to Los Cool. Cool. Now, it said this thing can go in rivers and stuff, right? Now, is there any like water areas that I couldn't get to before that this guy can uh, swim in? Technically speaking? Should have a look around. I mean... We've been everywhere with the sea boat with this, so... I don't think there's anywhere new to go. Ugh. 
At least not that I could think of. Eh, I'll have to work it out as we go along. Right. Anyone in here I need to visit right now? No. Okay. Right, I want to quickly go to Bandit Eden. I want to look at the shop for the recipe. There is a side quest here in Abandon Eden that I can pick up. And we'll do that while we're here. Don't get caught by that macrophage. You have to evade the general store motor small light. Okay. So for the repair kit, I need 5,000. And that's the, you know, let's save up for first. Also, you want to know more? Here is it. Okay. Various foods. Should be simple enough. You yes, sir, you have quest for us. What's up? My name is Tweedledy. Hey, aren't you the human who took the Jabber Walk outside of Abandon Eden? Yeah. Excuse me. I know it. Hey, take me somewhere too. It's not fair, only Jabberwock gets to go. Actually, no, never mind. There's nothing I really want to see outside of Bandin anyway, and Jabberwock will just say I'm copying. Oh, I know. I want to see where you live. What was it again? Rigaia? Yeah. Take me there, please. Yeah, if you get permission first. Permission from who? You mean from everyone else? What? No way. Come on, please. All I ever wanted to do since I heard about Jabberwocky's adventure. There he goes again. You know, once he gets like this, he won't shut up until you say yes. Would you mind taking him somewhere for a little while, please? Are you sure? Yeah, why not? We don't see any reason why he shouldn't. Besides, we weren't joking. He really will follow you around if he went until you say yes. See, everyone says it's okay. Please let me go somewhere with you, human. Yay! Where can I take him, though? I know what you mean. How about taking him to where Seth lives in Rigar? You mean the Castle of Illusion? Yeah, yeah. There, yeah, whatever. Let's go. Take me to Rigar. Thank you for going along with him. Okay, taking to Castle Illusion. I picked up a mission while I was here. Return home. Bye bye. Because then I can go out here. I don't want to dig a hole. I want to switch to my ship. I want to enter the bridge. Alan, thank you for coming. I apologise for the other day. Cut a conversation short in spite of you coming all this way to see me. Did you find what you needed? That is why I called you here to discuss. I don't know how best to collect data and human emotion without giving away my identity, but the answer to that could be found in the history of Lost Gaia. In the form of political strategies implemented long ago, Box placed in towns where people could deposit letters of concern. There are records of a reigning AI implementing a similar network. It was considered an idealistic mode of democracy that allowed the residents to directly respond to their government. What a great idea! To the contrary, such ideas remained so and their sense of democracy was never realised. The AI spent so much precious resources negotiating conflicting opinions, the result, the nation crumbled. 
But my goal isn't political in nature. I want to get samples of thought and concern that are born from the hearts and from that it will do. I've already established such a box in every town left included. It is named Suggestion Box! <laughs> Why'd you go with that name? So be bored the origin's name? Not something I created. Humans have a great variety of worries and concerns. Being able to witness them may help to alleviate the mechanisms that work behind the human heart. How will you collect the letters? There'll be no need to collect anything. Any letter inserted in the special box will be instantly transported to the Castle of Illusion. I imagine some letters have already begun to arrive once I've collected a reasonable number. Sorry, I'm receiving a transmission. Now this, what is it? The castle storeroom is displaying the regular pressure levels. Can't help you, that has nothing to do with... What? There's a rush of letters from an online location which is causing it to overflow? Yes, those are mine. No, that's not... Look, I have my reasons. We have already received 562 complaints to enemies stop receiving such primitive correspondence. No, do not incinerate. Then I'm on my way. Understand? Do not touch my letters. Inform the others, Navas. <laughs> <coughs> that is precious. Are you in trouble? I uh, certainly can't ignore the situation. I'm sorry, but I must return to Castle Illusion right away. I need to take the airship there, so please allow me to take you home first. Once I've concluded my business at Castle, I'll contact you again. Until then, Alan. Whoops. Much whoops. Oh, special technique unlocked. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was just precious. Right, next place to check for missions, and that would be here. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. I need to go to the orphanage. Hello. That's odd. I wonder what happened. I've never found out who's been sending them either. Ah, uh, what a shame. What's wrong? Well, it's just that we've been receiving so many gifts from a non sender for quite some time now. They start coming all of a sudden. The office will be fine without the presents, so that's not the problem. I'm just worried about whoever sent them. I hope nothing happened to them. Do you think they're not... Uh, it might be unwell. If that's the case, then I'd like to help them somehow. They've been ever so kind to us. They used to send us care packages, all sorts of useful items for the orphanage. Food, toys, picture books. The kids would get excited about everything that arrived, and we were grateful for the aid. But I'd hate to think that something might have happened to them. Do you know where the sender lives? No, unfortunately not. I don't know their name, or at least where they lived. Alan, could I ask you a favour? If you don't mind, could you help me find them, please? There's no rush, just whatever you can. It's usually where I go put the heating on. Alright, I'll see what I can find out. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, yes, I don't know if this will help you or not, but the parcels will always be left at the entrance of the orphanage. Someone might have seen who was dropping them off. I appreciate you doing this, Alan. Time to talk to everyone. Return to sender. So cold in my life. I think Sammy's getting ill. If she's that cold when she's got two duvets over herself. Yeah. What? I don't know. Have you seen anyone leaving presents at the orphanage? Um, 
looks interesting. Lots of presents. Need to save up money to buy recipes. Also, your uh, best friend is absolutely precious with the idea of the suggestion box. Alexa, make an announcement. What's the announcement? Yes, baby, I've turned the heating on and I don't know why you're so cold. If you have some paracetamol, take them. It might help balance out your temperature. If not, uh, once streams done, I'll come snuggle you to try and warm you up. Announcing. Yes, baby. There we go. No, that must be nice. No, the one thing I don't get is you do an announcement on Alexa. Why does the same one then make the actual announcement itself? It's like, what? I wish they'd bring presents to my house. Me too. Mm. Uh, okay, so up there. I don't even want to move that on this bed right now. Another issue is when to go get the mail and my vital sign patch finally arrived. Ooh, nice. I wish I had a robot vacuum, but then again, robot vacuums work very well on our carpet. Uh. Do I know who's... Leaving anomalous care packages at the orphanage? I heard a rumour like that somewhere. It's very cool and, more importantly for my wallet, was free due to winning a raffle during stream. Nice! I heard a rumour like that somewhere. They said it was someone well built wearing a pitch black suit. Apparently it looks like armour. An omen? But there's no one around here like that. Someone must have made that up. <laughs> I wonder if it's our doctor dude doing it again. It's something I've actually never tried. Can we jump down onto the lower levels? Why can we not jump down onto the lower levels? I don't care if it break our neck, it'd be easier to get around. Boo. might have an idea who it is. They've been leaving their presence at the orphanage. I'm not sure if it's the same person, but I've seen a guy hanging around the orphanage before. He's known around here for doing dodgy dealings. If you want to talk to him, you should try his house. It's the one just up north of the tavern. As we've seen, hang around the orphanage. Try and go to his house. Okay, second floor. Do, 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 do. So, are you as You're right, mate. I uh, don't know you. Are you sure you got the right place? As soon as anything about the presents at the orphanage. Presents? Where? At the orphanage? Nah, I don't know what you're on about. I was just looking for my wallet. I dropped it around there somewhere. I can see right through you, you know. What? Are you calling me a liar? Yes. Bloody hell, you're not going to leave, are you? Fine, it's no big deal anyway, I'll just tell you. Hydration. It was me delivering those presents to the orphanage. I only deliver them, though, they're for somewhere else. Well, I suppose I could tell you. Don't think I'll be working with them again. But you have to give me a word that says between you and me, understand? Good. Well then, first who sent the presents was an omen. <laughs> Look at your face, it's worth telling you for that. Why would an omen do that? 
Again, why would that be so weird? Well, they were sending them. I have no idea. I just took the job because it paid well. My line of work, you don't ask that many questions. I'll be honest, even I wonder why an omen would want to send presents to an orphanage. Where can I find the omen? Don't know, mate. Oh, actually, I think they said something about a castle of illusion or something. You might find them there. Oh, yeah, the last... Oh, yeah, and one last thing. The omen goes by the name of Sorbus. Now, seeing you hook, I told you everything I know. You can get more out of me if you tried. I'm going to guess he got killed or injured because of the fight that was happening at Castle of Illusion. Oh, yeah, I know they're, they're bad, but, I mean, it's the way our character was saying it. It's like, why would an omen help out? Well, we, we know they're not all bad. Well... I hope you bring back souvenirs. It'd be more, uh... Why is this omen helping us, question mark? <laughs> oh, uh... Mr. Unicorn. Is there anything new in your place? No. I know I'm meeting you at the, uh... Do I have the moment at the drawbridge? Probably... Yes. Wait, what? Oh, the other side of the drawbridge. Hey! Well, it's alright. Arya's moved out now. She no longer lives with us. We are free of Arya. Hmm? Did I waste my time coming here? Perhaps I shouldn't stop. It should not be I who comes sniffing to the lux of the omen. I would hope so. I'm a knight of the princess and a prestigious such allegiance with the royal family should... No, no, it shouldn't. The princess, the royal family, they were never real. What are you doing? Oh! What for so knave dares to stand at my hindquarters without express permission? Oh, it's you, Alan. Which means you must have come after reading my letter. As I expected for my trusted retainer, I command you. You look troubled. Surely you remember the discussion that was had in the throne room, where the omens informed us that my memories are not but falsities. I would have thought that discussion non stop since it occurred. Why would the omens plant such memories in the recess of my mind? I came to the castle to man some answers, but. They won't let you in? Yes, they no longer open the gate for a princess run of the mill unicorn such as myself. Fish posh, now I stand here for another reason, obviously. <laughs> Unless you've had a fixture of Charlotte, it was the omen who implanted these fake memories, correct? Thus, should they not also be responsible for explaining why they implanted those memories? So, you should see it not be me who approaches the omens, but they who should prostrate themselves to me. Not now, Hence why I am waiting for you here. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and yet now comes to offer me an explanation I deserve. So, you're going to go home now? Now, now, I said I would not approach them, but here is another story. You can do it. Surely you'd yearn to learn to understand why the omens do what they do. You want me to ask? Very astute. I believe you'd be nice to inquire about my memories. What say you? It's not that you caught a win-win situation. I need to find a save point and finish my stream. That's how he needs me. Now follow me, my trusty Alan. We will seek out the omens who might have answers we seek and ring them dry of information. To be fair, I'm surprised they haven't fixed the drawbridge. And, like, pulled it back up. <sighs> Alright. Let me save. I 
And you find someone to raid. Oh, well. Find someone to raid quickly. So I can go look after Sammy. I don't know many people who can come close to the drawbridge. That's probably true. 